like a large mouth at the end of your boner. I mean, <laughs> you know, they come in here. I don't know what that means, so and, I can't laugh. Oh, yeah, like, look at them. <laughs> and, and some of them, they're, you know, they're, they're, the ladies are sometimes really prudes, and I always say, it's a fishing rod. Yeah, <laughs> like a large mouth, a large mouth, <laughs> on the end of your boner, a fishing rod. There we go. <laughs> and they fish the flats down the Everglades, and that they go bone fishing. And supposedly one of the wives asked them when they came home how many boners they caught. Whoa, look at the size of that. Wow, how big was that one? About 40 or 42 inch? <laughs> Holy big. cow, man. One day, Stacy tells me about this 211. It's a malt liquor. And then, oh my gosh, the giggles start. <laughs> and, and for whatever reason, Stacy feels that we need another one. <laughs> so after two beers, Stacy's nowhere to be found pretty much. So, oh, a lot of the older people that come in, they say, they'll just giggle and they'll say, you know, this used to be Woody to us. Woody hey, goes by the nickname Mr. Skate Nard. Yeah, this came up. I did the first backflip and I came into the second backflip and I fell and it was really hard. We heard about Roberto. We heard through the neighborhood and actually mm -hmm. through Stacy, who I saw in the newspaper, you know, a, a write up on Roberto and Gator Board right. Shop. We got to contact that kid. This one ain't gonna write itself. Dude, that is the best thing. <laughs> the most important thing you look for in a guy is a, is a big personality.